This is the plaintiff, Victoria Singleton. She says the defendant is her neighbor and his dang dog attacked her grandchild and bit him in the ear. Now he's traumatized by any dog he sees. He had to get medical treatment for his injuries, and her louse of a neighbor refuses to take responsibility for his irresponsible behavior. She's suing for $5,000 for medical bills and pain and suffering. This is the defendant, Jamar Hayes. He says his dog broke off his leash and nipped one of the plaintiff's grandkids on the ear. He went to the doctor with them and no stitches were needed, just a little band-aid. The plaintiff's making a mountain out of a molehill. She refuses to send him the actual bills because he thinks she's jacking him up in an attempt to get five grand out of him. And that's not right. Shame on her. He's accused of failing to control his dog. All parties, please get your right hand. Seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, in. Uh, Victoria Singleton? I am. And Keon Davis and his mother, neither of whom are here, correct? Correct. Right, that's my daughter. Keon is the boy friend. who got bit, and his mom, you have power of attorney for the two of them. Yes. You're suing Jamar Hayes for $5,000 in medical bills, mm -hmm. and but mostly in pain and suffering up to this point and future pain and suffering. What happened here? I was coming back from work and I had um, gotten in my house and my grandchildren, Jaden Key, he's the oldest one, and the twins. How old are you, Jaden? 11. 11, and who's the gentleman with you? My, my name is Alex. My um, son. I'm her, her son. Okay. The uncle. And so what happened? Okay, um, they had just gotten back from school and they were walking like they always actually, walk. I guess I should ask Jaden because you didn't actually see what happened. No, you I saw was in the, the aftermath. House, yeah. All right, let me talk to you. What happened, honey? Okay, so on our usual route home from the bus stop, we um, we start walking and then we see Mr. Jamar's dog. He comes, he comes out and runs out and comes up and bites my brother's ear. Okay, I have a couple questions for you. Who's we? Who was with you? Uh, me, my two little brothers, and my friend. Okay, and your little brother, Keon, is how old? Six. And how old is your other little brother? Six. They're, They're twins? twins? They're twins. Yes. Okay. So what kind of dog did uh, Mr. Hayes have? Um, I think it was like a pit bull. What kind of dog do you have? It's a border collie. A border collie? Border collie, yeah. Okay. Do you have a picture of your dog? Yes. May I see it? Mm -hmm. That looks like a pit bull to me. It is. Right. Well, it... I mean, I've heard American Bulldog. I've never heard Border Collie. That looks <laughs> like the... the I've movie. never seen a pit bull look more like a pit bull. Um, oh, according you. to you, was the dog on a leash or not on a leash? No. It was not, not on a on leash, leash at all? No, ma'am. All right, so you are arriving at the same time that they're arriving and they tell you what happened. Yes, I have already went into my apartment. Okay. Okay, and then Jaden came running. He said, Mama, uh, Keon just got bit by Mr. Jamal dog. And I said, what? And then I ran outside. Now, had you ever seen that dog loose before? I have seen that dog loose many times. And Jamal knows that I have curse you out. Wait, wait, talk to me. Don't curse yeah, okay. him out in my courtroom. No, 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 I have. Don't remind him about dog. how you curse yeah, him out outside dog. of my courtroom. No. Talk to me and okay. look at me. We have okay. to have order Jamal in Jamal and I has had run-ins about his dog because that dog, he always said, it's not going to bite. How many times, Jamal, I've said, get your freaking dog. I'm coming out of my apartment. You need to get him on the leash. And you know this, Jamal. Okay, and just, don't talk okay. to him directly. <laughs> okay. Talk to me. Okay, and two weeks ago, Two weeks ago, I was coming out of my apartment. After the bite? Yes, ma'am. Okay, two weeks yes, from today. I was coming out of my apartment at 5.15 in the morning, and there jo uh, Jamal got the dog using the bathroom. It's not on the collar. And he knew I looked across. I said, well, I'd be got in 5.15 no, in the don't, morning. Don't, don't, don't hear. I understand. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Jamal was, he was nice, but he's a liar. He's nothing but a big old fat liar. Well, okay, let's not do go, anything. Stop, stop. You're going to okay. have to take a chill pill. Okay. okay. Don't call somebody fat. No, no, I say okay. fat liar. Oh, as in just a, a just really immense lying. liar. Just a liar. Just the best liar. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Uh, uh I wouldn't call him fat. Okay. Well, no, ma'am. Mm -mm. Okay. Well, just so long as you're just calling him a fat liar, <laughs> Mr. Hayes, what the heck is going on? 
first of all, we have a dog park where we live. If my dog is running, it's in the dog park. I never let my dog run off the leash. That day Do when that- Do you have your dog off the leash? No. Do no. you take your dog out to potty without a leash? No, not at all. Did you have your dog off a leash on this day? No, I did not, ma'am. I was walking my dog outside of my apartment. On leash or on off On the leash. leash. The dog broke off the leash, ran towards the child, and bit the child. I ran, I hit the dog, got the dog back in the house. I even showed the grandmother and the police officer the actual leash that was broken and explained to them that the dog broke off of the leash. Well, that, I mean, either way, it's going to be your fault because Absolutely. you have to Absolutely. hold, you have to have control over your dog. And Absolutely. if you buy a leash that isn't controllable, then that's a problem. Absolutely. You know? But that it never happened. And that was the first time so that you happened. Went, okay. Did, did you actually see the kid crying and everything? Yeah, I was there. I was actually taking care of the kid. And then what? At the time, I, I went to the hospital when it happened and I spoke with the mom and I wanted to make sure that the kid was okay. At that time, she stated to me, we're good, as long as the dog had his shots, you good, you don't have to pay me anything, we're straight. I said, okay, cool. A week later, I saw the grandmother coming home from work and I explained, hey, is everything okay with the kid? I was still worried, you know. <laughs> and then she just started going in on me like, mm -hmm. well, yeah. he's not okay because my daughter didn't even get medication for the boy for a whole week. She was irresponsible. I said, well, listen, ma'am, I'm sorry to hear that. You should have called me. We could have, I could have went and got it. I said, well, where's the medicine at now? Okay, weren't you at the, the uh, clinic that they went to? Yes. And um, there was some out-of-pocket charges there, and your credit card I was asked, denied? No, 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 no. At that time, when I went to the clinic, I asked the mother, was there, did she need me to help her with anything? Was so you never pulled okay? out a credit card that was denied? No. Okay. According no. to you, he pulls out a credit card, and it was denied? Uh, my daughter said he pulled out his credit card, oh, but it didn't work. your daughter told you that? Yes. You didn't I, see I didn't that. wasn't at the clinic. Why isn't your daughter here? Well, my daughter didn't want to come. She don't like, you know, this. But I take care of my grandson. And I told Jamal, no, you're responsible. You're going to take care of my grandson. You're going to pay for his pain and suffering. He had been in the hospital all week. All week, I said, Jamal. For so, wait, wait, hold on. He had already been, been in, in the hospital, hospital a whole week, week because yes, of what, seizures? Epilepsy, yeah. Okay. All yes, right. ma'am. Epilepsy seizure. And I told Jamal. And I said, now he comes back the first day from school, and because you were irresponsible, you didn't have your dog on the leash. Jamal said, Miss Victoria, here's the dog collar. I said, put that damn dog collar away because you lied. You don't do nothing but lie because I've seen you too many times with that dog off the collar. Come on, stop. Tell the truth. Okay. And shame the devil. Okay, well, here's the thing. Um, whether his dog, he had a, a garbage leash or was a, a off leash, it's the same responsibility because you have to have control over your dog. Right. So that's not going to win the day here. Mm -hmm. The next question, though, is you're, you're the grandmother. You're not I even am. the mother. And you're mm -hmm. suing for $5,000 yes, of pain and suffering. And I don't even have the witness here to ask him how much pain and suffering he's been through. So but how do you intend to prove $5,000 of pain and suffering? He's six years old. He is a little delayed. Now when he see a dog, he think he dog me. And if Jamal want to tell the truth, and okay. that morning at 515, Jamal. Okay, do not talk to Jamal. <laughs> Switch yes, places with the 11-year-old so I can yeah, hear you. About, no, you're That's right, fine, ma'am. Ma stay where you are. Go ahead. I'm the uncle. But again, the real point we're trying to drive home is that my nephew is scarred for life, right? Um, the, the, the scar is now keloid you have a picture of it? and swollen up. Yes. 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 Here's his pictures. And he's such a handsome little fella to have a scar that's on his face for the rest of his life. Face or on his ear? Ear, oh. head, face. Oh, poor baby. Yep. He's got uh, the healing process didn't go great, and he's got a little keloid scarring there. Wanted to talk to you again. What's your name again? Jaden. Jaden, um, how often are you at, at your grandma's? Um, five days a week. Have you seen this dog before? Talk to we me. We see the dog every time because me and my friends, they come knock at uh, my grandma's door to ask if we could all go outside. So we all go outside and play and around. What, and the times that you've seen the dog, is the dog on leash or off leash? Um, yeah, it's, it's, on, it's on a leash. On but, a leash. And um, did, on the day that this happened, did you see whether he was on a leash or and broke free? He was not on a leash. On this day, it, it wasn't on. Yes, Mr. Jamal opened the door to the apartment home, and the dog ran out. Welcome back to the People's Court. RV Eleven here. Are pit bulls safe to be around little kids? No, they're not. Why do you say? 
Um, they're vicious. I think having a big dog around a little infant is just not good. What do you say? It depends on the way it's been uh, trained. If it's so not always, but depending on the owner? Yes, it depends. Okay, who's going to be the tiebreaker? How about the guy with the dog? Well, we believe that uh, it all depends on how, how well they're controlled. If the person's with them, is controlling. I think they shouldn't be let free. Wouldn't it be ironic if, as I'm holding the microphone to you, that little dog just bit my hand? <laughs> that would be very ironic. I dare you. <laughs> dare you. <laughs> Going inside the courtroom. The dog was on the leash this time. I showed the mother. Mr. Hayes, let me ask you a question. I got a dog who bites a six-year-old. Do you have children? Yes, I do. How old are your kids? My son is nine. Can you imagine, do, can you remember when he was six? Sometimes it's hard to think back. Yeah. Can you imagine, imagine what it's like to get bit by, and why is your dog biting kids anyway? That well, tells me a lot. Well, um, the, the so, dog, the, I guess the dog must have got, you know, what? excited when the kid was, you know, and jumping bit? up and There's down. No, no, that's not the normal out. reaction. That tells me that this dog needs a little training. And, you know, but the bottom line is, how can you think it's worth zero you can't possibly think it's worth zero to be bitten by a pit bull. Absolutely not. So I am going to, I realize that there were no stitches. There's other kind of pain and suffering also, not just the pain from the wound, but, you know, um, it's, it's not easily quantifiable because the child's not even here for me to ask. Um, but other family members are testified to it, so it's there. So um, I am ordering you to pay in the name of Keon Davis, okay? I am gonna order you to pay him $500 that he is going to be able to take to Toys R Us and buy himself whatever it is he darn well wants that will hopefully <coughs> go some way towards getting him over his fear of dog. <laughs> buy him a dog! That's what you should do, buy him a dog. Maybe Keon wants his own dog to be able to, for, from a puppy and to be able to maybe get over this. That's my verdict. Right. Verdict for the plaintiff Keon in $500. All right. Listen to me, I want, I want to be very clear on something. You are now on notice that your dog bit a child. That dog shouldn't be outside without a leash and if it were my dog without a muzzle, that's what I would do because I would be very worried that that dog was gonna do it again mm -hmm. and that maybe next time it was gonna be a much graver situation, mm -hmm. okay? So the defendant is ordered to give the plaintiff's grandson $500. How do you feel about that? I feel good. I feel you, okay. You know, a lot of people may be wondering about, you You mentioned you have your own son, a nine-year-old son. Right, right. Are you worried about him being in the house with this dog? Not at all. Okay. No. All right. He's if it were me, I'd be worried. No, he's good. Especially being a pit bull. <laughs> Not a border collie. Okay? That's a stretch. You were stretching there. Yeah. Okay. Right. Thank you very much. You must sign some documents out there. All right. Here comes Miss Singleton. Hello. All right. Boy, you're feisty, you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. The judge was great. She felt my pain, and that's all I wanted, her to feel my pain and see, you know, what happened to my grandson. We all so felt happy. Your pain. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. You can give him that five hundred dollars. Yes. Oh, yes, I will. I don't think yes. Toys R Us is still here, but no, yeah, uh, you're right. Store, <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You must sign some documents. <laughs> Harvey. Okay, Doug. Look, if you have a, uh, a neighbor who's got a dog that's out of control and running in the neighborhood, and the owner won't own up to uh, controlling the dog. Call the Department of Animal Control. They can actually come out and ultimately, if push comes to shove, remove the dog from that house. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.